Abotai, we are here right now learning a very, very important lesson. And that is, there is something that's the worst hatred that a person can give. And that is hatred that comes from jealousy. Hatred that comes from jealousy is the worst of the worst of the worst. Because heaven forbid that it's not just you're hating the person for nothing. You're hating the person that that person has something that you don't have. And then already you have to understand the Torah. We said this once before that the Torah says, Don't be jealous of the person's house or the person's, right? Back in the day they didn't have cars but like the car. But don't be, and then it says, don't be jealous of anything that your friend has. So I don't just, just tell me, don't be jealous of your friend. That's it. Anything he has. Why tell me this, this, this? It's because you're looking at that one item. Look at the whole package. If you would look around and you would see, oh yeah, yeah, he has that. Or she has that. But you don't know what else she has. You want the whole package? Then don't want you jealous on one item. And therefore, that's, that's the easiest way to get out of jealousy on, in, in general. That's the easiest way to get out of je jealousy in general. Now, a lot of times people tell me, what about being jealous of another person his, of his religion? Like, for example, he's growing more, he's learning more. Can I be jealous of that? So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very, very clear with that. And that is, and I'm going to be very, very clear with that. And that is, Kinat sofrim tarbe chokmah. Our rabbis teach us, jealousy of sofrim, jealousy of a person growing in Torah, tarbe chokmah, meaning you'll learn more. It'll motivate you to more, more, learn more. So if that's going to help you learn more, okay, it's going to help you learn more. But if it's a jealousy within that you really hate the person because of that, that's problematic. That's problematic. Sometimes you'll have a guy, oh, he's growing more than you. And you're not jealous because you're jealous is going to motivate you to do more. You're jealous because I don't want him to learn more. That's a problem. That's a problem. And that's what he's telling you here. Run away from this hatred. He says that some people hate another person because... They don't do kindness with them. Meaning, I ask him for a favor, he says, no. Hajj, nah. He says, listen, at the end of the day, you shouldn't, you shouldn't hate, it's not a right to hate somebody. He's not, he's obligated to do whatever you want him to do. You know, is he obligated to do whatever you want him to do? Oh, you do that, I don't like him because of that. That's what he's telling you over here, he says. And he's right over here, he says, even so, he says, accept the fact that don't trust people's help. He's telling you the opposite. You're hating the guy because he's not helping you. Don't trust in people. Trust in Hashem, that's what he tells you over here. You hate the guy because you asked him for a ride and he said, no, I'm not giving you a ride. That's why you don't like the guy anymore? He's telling you at the end of the day, don't trust in people. Don't put your trust in people. A, a person might, might really do that. Oh, let me trust this. No, don't put your trust in people. What do you mean? I did this and I did this and I did this. Listen, at the end of the day, put your trust only in Hashem. And if He doesn't give you that favor, He doesn't give you that favor because at the end of the day, you understand know what I'm trying to say? Because He doesn't think it's for your good. Yeah, yeah, but over here he's trying to tell you that over here he's telling you that accept every everything, accept everything from Bore Olam. But some people don't like another human being because they asked him for a favor. He said no. Oh no! Don't trust in people's favors. Trust in Hashem. He says, "Ilo aidi zoche meeta makom baruchu hayano tel izulat matana basavat avalatam." He says, "If I was zoche, I would get it from Hashem." Sometimes let's say a person asks him for a loan. He asks the guy, "Can I borrow uh, two thousand dollars?" Give me an example. He says, "No." He says, "Don't be upset at the guy." Don't be upset at the guy. No, if it's meant, it'll be. You will meant beonim torah or shul cholim yisav yisurin. Yeshua Hashem brought the tato. Gazal lav kol zeh ahava. He says, if anything is going wrong in your life, heaven forbid, not for your benefit, have bitachon in Hashem that this is what Hashem is doing out of love for you. Of course, try to get out of the situation. 